Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, Vic was also experiencing difficulties with Theo. He has been shunned because he did not feel like discussing the matter with anyone. Everybody Vic's calls have been disregarded by him. Vic has been worried about him ever since the barbershop fire at his friend's place. However, until he disclosed the nature of the problem, she was unable to assist. In addition, she was having a hard time talking about the problems her boyfriend was having with her best friend. The election had been concluded in Montgomery. He was sure he would win. He was worried about winning and didn't know how to handle it, so Vic was told not to talk to him about Theo. All things being equal, she persuaded herself that she would trust that Theo will move toward her. Vic alone was present. She could never again get through the quietness. She inquired about the issue later, when Theo was by himself. Both Theo and Vic were aware that they were not to blame for his friend's house fire. However, as it turns out, this was the situation at the barbershop. They solved the issue. The area was safer as a result of their visit. The only thing they could think of to explain why something would catch fire was that the wiring in that area was bad. Even though he was aware that no one was paying attention to him, Theo tried to speak up. He was about to give up completely when Vic took over. Vic stated that they would independently investigate the fire. She and Theo vanished despite the fact that the entire squad was already at odds with Fire Chief Ross. For staging a coup against Captain Beckett, Ross was furious. It's possible that Beckett was intoxicated. Simply put, they had no right to treat him that way. Ross believed she was handling things effectively. She did not require them to act independently or defy orders. They weren't sorry for what they had done, didn't help, and even defended their behavior by claiming that they followed the Seattle Fire Department's rules. The fact that Ross had previously served in the military was coming back to haunt them. Actually, she was right in that Ross knew nothing about it since she hadn't progressed through the positions of the Seattle local group of firefighters, despite the fact that it was expressed in the norms. Ross had the choice to withdraw subsequent to discovering that data, yet she kept on rebuffing the crew. She on the other hand, offered to serve as their temporary leader. They had her on the ride. She additionally underscored to them that regardless, the work starts things out, which, after they realized what had happened at Dark Sloan, she needed to help them to remember. When the firefighters learned that a man had deliberately hit two doctors with his car, they were worried about their loved ones. They all knew specialists who worked at that emergency clinic. Ben's Bailey, Maya's Karina. While Mayor and the fire chief were on call, she had an anxiety attack at work. She was extremely worried about her wife. She was a first responder, so Ross basically told her to be tougher. They also had work to do, despite the fact that her mental health had not been at its best. After a social media influencer and her boyfriend's cameraman fell while filming there, they were taken to a cave. The firefighters were able to locate her thanks to her webcast. They were able to save one, and Stella Trix, or Sarah Grossman, made a terrible mistake while attempting to save the other. In an effort to get a decent video of herself being saved, she took off her neck brace while being carried up the mountain. She likewise attempted to curve around in her outfit. They were nearly killed by something as foolish as they had ever seen. They had to save her despite her ignorance. Since she had lost her telephone, she was more worried about tracking down it than with individuals who were endeavoring to save her life. She was awakened by Montgomery. Consequently, Montgomery acknowledged watching her movies with her. She gave off the impression that she was nice and caring, so he told her to be real. But at the time, she wasn't acting that way. She ought to act as her online persona. Stella finally focused on him, permitting herself to be saved. She alone split up with her boyfriend. Brenton has had enough of her self-centered actions. They were prevented from going public for seven years because she was concerned that her relationship would cost her followers. When she realized that her fans were in agreement with the idea, she was only willing to admit that he was her boyfriend. Brenton wanted to be chosen independently rather than in a group. After he broke up with her, she needs a new boyfriend and a new cameraman. Stella's social workers got to see Montgomery in action as he called out. Both Brenton and Stella were sent to Grace Sloan. Maya was delivered out early so she could race to her better half-side since they needed to exit through the back. Sullivan was forced to observe Brenton and Stella's conversations because of the large number of police present. He reached the resolution that his clandestine relationship with Ross might have owed him more. After Andy turned down the offer, Ross made the decision to appoint Theo as the new interim captain. 
When Theo and Vic discovered that the barbershop had been set on fire, they were rewarded. She shared the evidence that the arson investigators had discovered and gathered with her. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.